All I know is if Reflex dies, it's the legend, it is the one. War suit, my Lipton sipping, ripping dudes. We got Fort Dodge round two on MX versus ATV legends, bro. Woo! We're talking about arguably, I don't even think it's an argument. The best stock Supercross track on the best arcade motocross game brought into the new MX vs. ATV game as DLC, okay? This is just, I know a lot of people out there bring up Fort Dodge Round 2 as being the best MX vs. ATV reflex Supercross track it was one of the biggest, big jump daddy, tea sipping, spency boy rhythm jump tracks in the game. It kind of had that epic stadium to it, you know? I feel like Fort Dodge Round 2 just really captured and encapsulated Reflex's Supercross epic feeling to the game. And... That's why they chose to bring this track back in the the throwback DLC pack or whatever on Legends, right? So they just had their Reflex Motocross tracks a little while back there. They brought back like Pine Top and some of those tracks into the game. And now they are to their point here where they're going to have the Reflex Supercross tracks. So... All they have right now is this Fort Dodge Round 2 and then a Fort Dodge Round 3. But they will also be having the box car, which was the DLC Supercross track on Reflex. That'll be coming out here soon as well. Okay, but this is all included in that original Reflex DLC pack for MX versus ATV Legends. So there's no like additional purchases. Or anything like that. It's the same shit, you know, from those older Reflex Motocross track DLC tracks that you had. Okay, same DLC pack that we're talking about right here, right? Don't want to cause any sort of confusion, okay? So, boys, this right here is just badass in every way. There ain't no other way to say it. And, of course... Anytime you bring the tracks from the greatest, the GOAT, arcade motocross game, it's going to be better than bringing back any other track from any other dirt bike game out there. And I think you've kind of seen that at this point. These reflex, you know, track remakes being brought back into Legends were better than any of the other. They had brought back some, like, Alive tracks. I even think they had some, like, what was that? Unleashed or Untamed tracks in there. None of those even come close to these Reflex DLC tracks on Legends. They just don't, man. These are on a whole nother stratosphere, bro. And this track in particular... It's just so well remembered from Reflex and to be able to see it in a newer AAA motocross game instead of just being like some random custom track on bikes or sim or something like that, right? Really cool to see it actually full-blown in a new MX versus ATV game like this. So, also another really cool thing is they... They have all this cool, these cool like neon lights and billboards when you go up in the stadium, the really iconic area of Fort Dodge Round 2. They they really brought it to life, you know what I'm saying? They really gave it that, that modernized sort of look to it graphically, even just the stadium in general. But specifically, when you go up in the stadium area, you'll see all those cool, like, futuristic-looking billboards. They got this really cool, like, Orbit shirt billboard, like some sort of Galaxy Spency Boy purple perp skirt-looking shit, okay? 
MX First HV, when are we making the out of this world DLC pack for this game where we have a free ride moon track with low gravity and I'm a part of the creation of it? When's that happening, bro? Y'all boys need to hit me up, bro. When's that going down, bro? I promise you would sell some of that DLC, I promise. Okay. Get us a damn track with a tea pond in the middle of it and shit. Oh, boy. So, yeah, as far as the actual, you get down to the, the track itself, of course, like I said with Pine Top and all those other Reflex track remakes for Legends, it's going to be a little bit different than when you play it, when how you remember playing it on actual... MX versus ATV Reflex, of course, you know, because it's not literally Reflex. Legends is actually quite the different game from Reflex, okay? But, with everything being said, I feel like they, they probably did this about as good as you could have, trying to make it fit into the, the differences of the gameplay and the physics of Legends, but trying to get something like a Reflex track in there, you know, yeah, there's going to be some different rhythms that you can hit that you probably couldn't hit on Reflex. Yeah, some of the scaling areas of the track feel a little bit different, but overall, for what it is here, I feel like this is about all you could ask for for a Reflex track remake. You know what I'm saying? And I felt that same way, really, about their Pine Top and some of their Reflex motocross tracks that they had. It's about the same same difference, right? About as good as you could do it. And this is the best kind of older motocross game track remakes, bringing them to a new motocross game. This is the best kind of game you can go to for that. And I don't know any more of an example that you can have than these being the best you know, throwback track, remake tracks on MX versus ATV Legends. They just are. So, you know, and that just kind of goes to show you, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> Reflex is the GOAT. It's the GOAT still to this day, and it ain't even close. Like I've said from day one, the more and the more that you try to make your arcade motocross game like Reflex, the better and the better it's going to be all the way around. It don't matter if you're talking about physics, gameplay, track design, bringing back the tracks from Reflex, you know. It does not matter what aspect of it you're talking about. Terrain deformation, whip system, any of that shit, bro. The more and the more you try to make it like it was on Reflex, it's just going to be better. And case in point proof in the pudding right here, now that they've actually added some of these Reflex tracks to Legends, and, you know, oh, wow, magically, bingo, they're the best, you know, bringing back tracks from an old Motocross DLC game kind of, you know, tracks you could have. Of course they are. Because Reflex is the greatest arcade motocross game. So, you know, kind of goes without saying, okay? But, uh, yeah, they definitely didn't hold back on the jump size. Of course, Reflex is known for having some tracks with some big jumps. I'm excited to look at the, the boxcar one because that was kind of the more, like, smaller. Those DLC tracks on Reflex were the kind of more realistic, smaller scaling, whereas, like, the regular default tracks were the little bit bigger, you know, kind of a little bit more epic size to the scaling of the tracks. So, yeah, this track on Legends, Fort Dodge Round 2 on Legends, certainly captures all of that and sort of gives it a nice little modernized touch to it. Um, like I say, it's still different, and yes, if you're a you know, if you're a hardcore reflex player back in the day, yes, you are going to get a little bit of that feeling of like, well, damn, like this kind of reminds me of reflex, but like now it's making me think about how good reflex is. And I wish I was just playing reflex. <laughs> it will give you that effect a little bit, but it's a nice throwback, dude. I mean, that, that's just what it is, bro.